Here, Sarah Kelly highlights why carefully curated social media pics can cause unrealistic expectations of how people look. Even when you are a model, you're scrolling through Instagram when you see a photo of a stunning model and you say to yourself, I want to look like her. Here's the issue, though, that model may not even look like that. Social media has raised society's beauty standards to a new level, especially since AI-generated filters entered the picture and it's something to be very wary of. Reality versus perception I was recently stunned when two of my TikTok videos went viral. The first video I posted, when you are the model in the picture and even your body doesn't look like that, got one. 5 million views. HTTPS. Ugh. Slash BT TikTok. Com slash CSRBBRKG8 slash the second, unspoken rules of plus sized modeling, got one. 2 million views. HTTPS. Ugh. Slash BT TikTok. Com slash CSRBB8U3H. Slash in my attempt to demystify the reality versus the perception of how different people can look on the net, the subjects hit a chord with millions of people. Even while we are all now aware that social media is only a highlight reel, we should ask ourselves whether we really comprehend its full scope. Videos are now able to have filters that can change how we look drastically with the tap of a button. For the most part, the decanted images I have are the ones your friends post when it's your birthday and everyone looks awful. The reality of so-called casual shots is that hundreds of photos were most likely taken. Specific poses were selected, meticulously edited, and scrutinized before posting, creating the pressure of curating the perfect life that appears to be effortless. A dream. A naturally curvy girl, I knew my body would never resemble that of a model. The moment I saw my first plus-sized model, everything changed. My childhood dream now looked somewhat achievable. Fast forward and I'm now thrilled to say that I am a fully-fledged model with top agency Bella Management. However, modeling these days isn't just about taking pretty pictures. Sarah Kelly, the success of my modeling and content creating careers is largely dependent on my online presence. So, I get it. I too have to think about what kind of shots I post and how I look, however it can be a tricky thing to navigate, given I don't want to be something I'm not. It's easy to get sucked into a pit of self-doubt and comparison when I see other models getting booked for shoots and other creators getting invited to events I wasn't. Was it because they looked better than me on their feeds? The fact is that maintaining a social media presence is part of my job, so I can't just delete my accounts, ignore them or not give content much thought. I'll take a minute to acknowledge my emotions and then remind myself that social media just depicts a small fraction of someone's life. Why am I comparing my whole self to a fraction of someone else's? Setting boundaries sometimes, I take a step back from social media and make conscious efforts to set boundaries and limits. I'll block off work time and won't check Instagram stories or feeds at all. I'll be honest and say that there have been occasions when I've blocked people in an effort to break the habit of constant comparison. I now know I need to keep my attention fixed squarely on my own life, where I am already playing the main character and supporting cast all at the same time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.